Hi, this is Dean, and this is a video of Devil's Dream. It uses a shuffle bowing, and um, uh, by shuffle bowing, as far as I know, the term kind of means that some of the notes are slurred together and others, uh, others are not. And let me get in the picture here. There we go. So the shuffle bowing that we're using for this fiddle tune, uh, and the version I'm using, by the way, is um, a version from a book on bluegrass fiddling by, I think, Gene Lowen? I can't remember. Uh, I had the book for a number of years, and it's lost. I'm sure it's online somewhere. But anyway, it might be a little different than a version of Devil's Dream that you have heard. And uh, so, uh, I can't remember where I, where I was now. Oh, the shuffle bowing is that we have two notes that are slurred together and then two that are separate. So it would be like an eighth note and two sixteenths. And that is um, also Jack Rabbit Eats Carrots, the second or third variation in Twinkle, uh, Suzuki Twinkles. So anyway, what we should do then is practice doing an A major scale where we do two notes in a slur, two separate, and then slur again. So let's try that out now. So uh, this is a, an alternating bowing pattern. In other words, one time we do the slur on a down bow, and then the next time we do it on an up bow. So here we go, one octave scale, uh, slurring, here we go. I suggest you do that on all of your scales so that you get used to this at different speeds and um, a two octave A major scale would be a perfect uh, opportunity to learn this bowing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now um, let us see what the notes are in the A part of um, Devil's Dream. We have an A, a G sharp, a and then E. Don't like my E. All right, uh, the G sharp and A should be very, very close to each other so that it has a really brilliant, brilliant sound. It's one of the, the cool distinguishing features of Devil's Dream is that half step interval at the highest highest level or the highest note or almost the highest note that we play on the violin and fiddling music so we don't want it to sound like dull that just does not sound it sounds amateurish it doesn't have that brilliance that we want so anyway we do this, and let's do this um, six times in a row. We're going to do the, the A and the G sharp and a down bow. Slur, and then separate. Now up bow. So here we go. Let's do six of them. Here we go. There, I used a lot of bow on those slurs, uh, a lot more bow than uh, maybe when it goes fast you would want to use. But I do want to make sure that you can do those nice long bow strokes so that when you play something like mu um, Musette in book two, that kind of a thing, you want to be able to do that. All right, so anyway, in um, Devil's Dream, the A part, we do this thing three times. 
uh, and then the fourth time we change. So this is where bowing is really, really helpful to remember how many times you've done it. Uh, since it's an alternating pattern, uh, we do it on the second down bow. The first down bow, second time is up, third time is down. And now we do the changed notes and those are F sharp and E and an up bow. And then separate D and C sharp. Um, let's try that again. Make sure that you do this little part on an up bow though. Okay, so here we are in F sharp and E. D and C sharp. Uh, we want to make sure that as often as possible that you um, always bow two bow strokes or a multiple of two so that we always end up back where we were. Um, because this is an alternating pattern of six bow strokes, we need to do all six of them. Because uh, if we did this, we have learned it in two directions instead of one. Eventually, it's nice to be able to do them in both directions. But if you're learning a fiddle tune, you do not have time. You do not have the um, luxury of learning it in both directions. Uh, fiddle tunes go by so quickly that you really need to have total automatic execution of it. If you don't, uh, you're just going to either be hampered by the speed and you just can't play it any faster, or uh, you're just going to crash and burn. So, anyway, so let's do our um, four uh, patterns now, three of the same thing, and then the last one uh, where we go down, F sharp, down the scale. So here we are at the beginning now. Here we go. Let's do it again. Here we go. All right. The next part uh, has a beautiful string crossing, uh, very typical of fiddle tunes. And um, we uh, do the string crossing where we do a down bow on the A and then an up bow on the E. Um, fiddlers do it, uh, I've seen other fiddlers do it in the reverse, uh, and that has its advantages, but it's also harder to do. So we're going to take the easier way right now. Uh, why is it easier? Because when we're doing this, we end up making little ovals with our um, hand and our wrist. And then it ends up just being uh, the wrist itself when you start going faster. Uh, for example, then... You can see that I didn't really move much in the way of my arm. Uh, it was all done with my fingers and my wrist. That's a bit advanced for um, Suzuki Book 2, but if that happens, uh, that's okay. That's really good. Meantime, then, we're just going to kind of keep our elbow at about A string posture. And then we're going to move our, our forearm and dip down to do the E string. I'll go like this so you can see a little better. And you can see that I'm doing a lot of that with my fingers. Uh -huh. uh, if you have finger flexibility at this stage in your playing, that's great. If you don't, you can just kind of use your wrist to do that. But I don't think it takes very long before you get finger flexibility by doing this little wrist thing here. In the meantime, let's do um, uh, a good um, fiddling exercise, just doing the A and the E. All right, and that um, is usually, oopsie, usually done right around uh, the middle of the bow. If you get too far out here, then you really have to move far. And if you get over here, you get too much bouncing. The bow kind of bounces out of control. 
All right. Uh, and now the notes of the next section are similar to Swallowtail. We leave our first finger over both strings. And we put our third finger down on the lower string, which is the A string, on the note D. So we go between D and F sharp, and then E and F sharp. Let's try that out. Here we go. Uh, these have no slurs in them at all, as you could see, uh, and um, for good reason. It's just harder to play with a slur. All right, uh, and so how many times we do that? Do we do that in the piece? Let's see. Uh, we do it. It looks like. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we do it twice and then on the third time we go up uh, of the scale so um it, let's see now in the music uh that i have on the website uh, i throw in a couple of slurs there uh it isn't exactly a shuffle um but if you're going to um want to keep things orderly and make sure that you always do this on a down bow And then if we add two slurs at the top here, we want to make sure that we add them in groups of two so that our bowing works out again. So um, here are the notes then. And the third time we go up. Slur, slur, separate. All right, let's try that out now. Um, I'm not sure what measure that is, but anyway, it's the beginning of the string crossing. Here we go. Slur, slur, separate. All right, so now we have that string crossing part done. And now we just have to do the, um, uh, the tag. Uh, the tag is, remember, the part, the end of the A part, and it also ends the B part. And this, um, let's see how it goes. Yeah, so then we're going to be on a down bow here. And then I just do separate. So that is the shuffle that we're working on here. We're going to do a down bow, and then separate, and then up bow and separate. So here we are in B, separate, up bow, separate, and then all separate. You could also go. Uh, then you'd have to work on how to get back to the right bowing when you go back to the beginning. Anyway, here we are with the A part. We haven't added in the, um, the, the um, pickup notes, and they're going to be uh, a slur of two notes so that uh, we do it the same every time. The first ending and the second ending uh, of both the A and B parts have slurs in them, so we want to start with a slur too. All right. So here we are. Uh, this is now a run through of the A part. One, uh, starting on those uh, pickup notes. One and two and three. Up, down, up, F sharp. Straight crossing. Twice. Changing, going up, slur, slur, separate. it for this video. Next one I will do um, 
the B part. 